off the shores of Florida, Discovery Family Channel, along with the University of Miami Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science, join forces to tag, pull it out, study, That's pupil right is getting here. smaller, and release the sea's most notorious predator, the shark. Come along as we interact with these magnificent creatures to better understand their environment. So when we're working up a shark like nurses, which are more resilient, we can kind of tell how stressed it is yeah. just by looking at it and how it's acting and how it's moving. PCO 96. The reason we're out here doing this research is because it's critical to the health of the environment and our ocean ecosystem. Threshold is 29. Threshold. We're going to figure out how many there are, what their role in the ecosystem, why are they there in those areas? Are they there for feeding? Are they there to find uh, mates? Are they there to give birth to their babies? You know, what's going on? Can I have the tagger come down? We take a, a tag, which has a unique barcode that we can then identify that animal if we capture it again or if someone else captures it. Three, eight, one, four, five, five. I know. After that, we take a small tissue sample from the fin. We do that where there's no blood supply, no nerve supply, kind of just like this elastic protein that's similar to your nail. You cut a big cut. Awesome. Beautiful. It actually looks like studies show that even within an hour of a shark getting an injury or a wound, they start having a coat of cells that show up over that wound to start healing it. So it's really superficial and it heals incredibly quickly um, so they don't have any long-term effects from it. Yeah. Uh, throughout the process, we continuously put water along the shark's body in order to keep it moist and control its temperature. Thanks, Jeff, girl. Thanks, guys. We actually look at the blood um, from the sharks and we can test and see what their kind of health levels are and what kind of stress these sharks are experiencing. Shannon's actually looking at nutrition in the shark's blood. Yeah, so I'm looking at the nutrition of sharks in and out of the waters surrounding Miami. So by looking at levels of different molecules in their blood that store energy, we can kind of see how healthy or unhealthy the shark is. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have more fascinating facts coming up on Shark Days of Summer.